Hey everyone, and welcome back to Canine Active Health. Today, Bo and I are going to be showing you two at-home techniques you can do to help your dog's neck arthritis. Let's dive in. To better understand our goal of treating neck arthritis at home, we first must understand the problem. In context of this video, we are talking about osteoarthritis specifically, and this is typically found in senior dogs. So osteoarthritis or OA is characterized by the narrowing of the joint space and the loss of cartilage leading to pain and stiffness. Often this can involve the intervertebral discs and that is referred to intervertebral disc disease or IVDD for short. The techniques discussed today are not recommended for dogs that have neurological involvement. If you're unsure what that means, then I'll link to a video that you can understand the basics of discussing a pinched nerve and what to look for. But if you're unsure, always consult with a professional to make sure you're doing the right thing. Because there's narrowing of the joint spaces, our main goal should be to decompress the joints in the neck. And often when you do this, you can give immediate relief and allow the joint fluid to rush into the joints, lubricating the cartilage and provide nutrients to it as well. So first we need to assess and release the tight muscles of the neck. This is because the muscles in the neck act as guy wires to the spine of your dog. They create stability for the neck to control the weight of their head during movement. When there is arthritis, the muscles will tighten up and decrease the range of motion in the cervical spine. This is called muscle guarding and we want to calm the resting tone of the muscles down so that we can do more with the neck step and do it more effectively. You can massage the neck when the dog is laying down. And remember, if you feel a firm pulse underneath the point of contact, avoid that as you probably are near or pressing on one of the arteries. For specific techniques, please refer to the video linked above where I discuss releasing trigger points in the muscle tissue. Now the second technique, which is done after you can relax some of those muscles in the neck is traction or long axis distraction. When your dog is relaxed, you'll gently traction the head away from the shoulders in a neutral motion. Avoid tipping the head up or down or from the lateral direction side to side. This can be accomplished by gently supporting the jaw with your, with your fingers and using your thumbs to press into the back of the skull. The other way is having your dog face you and you're going to hook your hands around the back of the skull and gently pour, pull the dog's head towards you. You should really be able to appreciate the movement in the dog's neck. If the dog is resisting and you feel like they're not releasing, you can't um, get that movement in the neck or appreciate that movement, you may need to do more uh, work on the muscles to get them to relax, or it could be the point of contact that you're using is irritating the dog and causing them to guard. Make sure you're not applying the pressure to the jaw or behind the ears where there's a very sensitive point. It should always be firmly on the back of the head where there shouldn't be any sensitivity. Arthritis is not something that cannot be treated. With these two simple techniques, you can slow the progression of arthritis and help keep your dog living their best life as they continue to age.